Hey, what's up guys? Today, Facebook filed for their IPO, which is the initial public offering. And this is so they can sell their first stocks. And Facebook is trying to get five billion, which would be one of the top initial public offerings ever. So we're gonna see how that goes. They just filed for it today. And basically, I'm not sure about this. I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel that a social network site isn't meant to be here forever. So if someone invests in the IPO stock, then they're not, if they try to sell it three years from now, who knows, Facebook could be going to the DOS like MySpace is. So I'm not really sure about a social network doing this. Like a site like Google, I understand though, because they're established and everyone, that's like a household name now. And basically, Facebook is like used by everyone, but so is MySpace. But Facebook is a little popular, so I understand why they did it. But if you invest now and you don't get your money back later, it's kind of your fault because you should know that the situation they're in. So basically, what I'm going to do now is go over some Facebook facts. Number one is, did you know that Facebook had over 800 million monthly users? That's incredible. I mean, to have over 800 million active each month, that's just great. In MySpace, I never believed even got anywhere near that. Right now, I think uh, it's Google Plus, they have 100, 100 million, I believe it is, users that hit it today. And that's not even active users, that's like total. Also, Facebook just released their financial info for the first time ever today. And their earnings are like incredible. They're up high. They aren't as high as like a company like Google, but it's incredible for um, what Facebook is making. This year, their net income raised 65% up to 1 billion. And that is like really amazing because they're earning $1 million in profits right there. That's really amazing. Their total revenue actually raised a lot too. It raised 88% to 3.7 billion. And basically when advertisers actually advertise, that's how they get their money. So say I want to advertise my Rise Tech Tube on the side. You see that there's um, like ads on the right side of Facebook on your um, newsfeed and everything. When you click on them, the company that is advertising actually has to pay Facebook the set amount, depending on how much they um, set it to, whether it be like 65 cents a click or like $3 a click. I have no idea what the Facebook advertising rates are. And did you also know that Facebook spent $1.96 billion this year alone? 2011, they spent $1.96 billion, which is a huge amount. I think they put a lot of it towards advertising and upgrading their systems and hiring people. So it's only going to make them better, hopefully. Hopefully they don't go down like MySpace did really quickly. And the only bad sign is that Facebook's mobile application is actually growing rapidly. In September alone, they had 350 million active users um, using their Facebook mobile app. And now, in um, throughout January, they have 425 million, which is like 75 million increase which in, within like a four month span. And that is not good for Facebook because if you look at the Facebook application or mobile app, there is no advertisements. So that means that there's less people um, available to click the ads. So Facebook will in all make less money. So hopefully that doesn't grow too much or it could affect their income a ton. Now here are some fun facts about Facebook. Did you know that there are 2.7 billion likes and comments posted daily that is amazing a huge amount i don't even i don't even know how they did it considering it was like four years ago when no one knew about facebook now it's this huge site that everyone knows about there is also 250 million photos a day it's amazing that the servers can hold that much i believe they're probably paying millions and millions of dollars just to have those servers and did you also know that 85 percent of facebook's revenue comes from advertising alone so basically, the mobile applications are gonna hurt them in the long run because they have no advertisements. I believe that sometime soon they're gonna have to add some advertisements because if this keeps growing, more people are gonna use the mobile application on say their iPad or phones or iPods 
and they're not going to be making much money anymore. But anyways, guys, this has been some basically fun facts and a review of the IPO that they just filed. I know I didn't give a lot of info. I'm not too big into IPOs. I don't know anything about that, really. I know some stuff, but I don't know like the details about it and everything like that. But anyways, if you guys want more info, in the description below, I will have a post that I made that will basically go over the same info I just talked about. And I will have another link to the USA Today's website because they had a great post um, in-depth info. I think they had like two or three pages worth of info on it. And you'll get everything you want to know about the Facebook IPO and any more facts. So anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video today. If you liked it, remember to hit that like button down there. Remember to subscribe and leave a comment with what you think about the Facebook IPO. Do you think that the Facebook IPO will be successful? Do you think that the people who buy the stock, do you think they're going to get their profits in the long run? Or do you think Facebook's just going to go down like MySpace did um, within a few years? Leave all those comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.